And we know that Iron is great on day two. We know that Tokyo is great on day two. And the question for Cindy Gallagher's squad, did they do enough on day number one here in this wild card match? Six teams are already in. Energy Standard, the only unbeaten team. Galley Condors, Toronto Titans, London Roar, Aqua Centurions, LA Current. Final day of the play-in match. Only two of these four teams will survive. The other two's ISL 2021 seasons will come to their conclusion today. It looks real good. Yeah, you can see that straight arm recovery that she has. That gets that shoulders into it a lot more and she gets into and out of those turns so quickly. And a she's little got tougher for Renomi. Such a quick recovery. Though Renomi picks up her tempo on the final 25. Try to surge into the lead and get the win for Iron and she does it. And it's first and third for Team Iron to start things off. What a start. What a start. Hey, Anna Hopkins did her job. What a start for Iron in D.C. Alone, top four finish right there. Top two teams right now try to extend their lead on the rest of the field. Warsaw will be in the bottom in lane number two. Marco Orsi has won this event six times in lane number five. You know that if Tokyo has any sort of chance of moving on, to the playoffs, you'd think that Morisov would have a pretty big showing, but he's not showing up no, here so far not. in this one at I am. Sixth and eighth right now. This is, it, he's not gonna be able to come from behind against this field. They're just too good on the back half. He's got a great breast and free, but he's just not putting it together. That early easy speed he's had in the past is not there. And right now, middle of the pool, Orsi doing a good job. And we've seen Orsi with a 12 point jackpot. He's jackpotted two swimmers this season, and he's on his way to getting another win for Iron. They take both of the 100 IMs as Orsi wins the 100 IM for the seventh time. He had that lead, comfortable at the 50, comfortable at the end, even though Vizeos, who made such a charge in the 200 IM yesterday, he was coming on. Give him another five meters and that red cap might have been there. Over Tokyo, who's got a long way to work their way back into the playoff now. But to even grab a top three with Pizzuti, who was also good on the relay yesterday, Bernie. And they, they could grab some jackpots here. The winner is going to grab jackpot. I think because Cock and Wilby are not good for New York. For Tokyo, you forget about New York. Who cares if you beat New York? Right. The only people you're challenging right now are Iron. But Koseki needs Penzuti to come right alongside him. Yeah. Penzuti now running third. This is what we talked about. Maybe a 1-3 finish, and there's the jackpot. Exactly what we thought. And Koseki gets it done oh, too. Oh, that's what Tokyo needed. A one-two finish. If you're Iron, you are thrilled because your events are coming up. So big. For Tokyo, Linnea Mack. We saw, had a great battle in that. Hunter back earlier, but. And how big was Renomi yesterday on the medley relay for Iron? Yeah, she she has come through. She definitely wants to go home to Eindhoven. She is just pulling this team alongside her right now. That's Loft running fourth down there. It's all right there in the middle. Just exactly what Iron what wanted. Iron trying to go one, two, and they get it done. Kromo Yoyo gets the win. Hanik is second. And Iron starting to surge here on day two. That's 19 points scored. Three, three points. I mean, that's all you can say when you look at the beauty 
and the strength and everything else watching Renomi Kromovioyo. Oh. And that lead now almost 40 points, Bernie, over Tokyo. Watch how quick he gets off the block. Yeah, a little sloppy on the entry, not quite as straight as he's been in the past. But look at the power he has going into and out of the wall, and look at the red. The jackpot's oh. trying to light up the world record, 21.75. Santos coming, Sergi, and oh, 21.81. It's still going to be a huge win for Santos. And don't worry. Oh my goodness. He scores 24 points. He's going to get a chance to swim it a few more times in Eindhoven. I think Iron is comfortably now into second. It, he's still disappointed. And it all came down to the finish. Watch, he was so long. He was perfect on his finish. I thought if he had a great finish and finished on a full stroke, the record was his. It's about the butterfly all day long, how critical it would be. And it has given them a 56-point advantage. Back to Simonova is coming back to anchor Iron's second relay, Iron 2. She just got out of the 200 freestyle about five minutes ago. Seen a lot of quick doubles like that all year long. They're smiling. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Look at Tarina Zekrich. <laughs> she should smile. You know what? She's worked really hard putting this team together. She has been an intricate part of this iron team. Iron at the end, but then you've got Chroma the Yo-Yo anchoring for iron. You've got Simonova anchoring for iron. You've got Cody Miller back there capturing the moment. Even though we've got all these cameras. Yeah, and, and, and DC does have Anna Hopkin. Look at that. One, two, three, four. You can pick them. Put her in first class to Eindhoven, folks, because Iron gets the win on the back of Renomi Kromoyo. Oh, my. even starting to feel some relief now. They've been very poor on the overall on the uh, on the skins events. Kawamoto did win one of the skins, but you know when you have the likes of uh, Bailey Anderson, by the way, before we get to any of that, how about this event though? 49,000. 286 aggregate rating. You got the top three swimmers in this event battling it out. Ohashi number one, Wood number two, and Anderson number three. This is the highest rated event we've had all year long outside one skins event. It's hard to get up when you know there's nothing to swim for. It, it's not easy just as you projected. <laughs> not necessarily in that order, but those, <laughs> those are the obvious projections. I thought Ohashi would be further up than she is. Three times over her career, in fact, she's going for her fourth. This season alone, she has not been beaten this year. Will she be four for four? I think so. Anderson. Trying to outrun Abby Wood, making her final push in her final ISL event. And Anderson does indeed get the win for DC. <laughs> Not so bad. He's <laughs> looking at the almost surprise on her face. With 18 of the 27 for DC Triton. 
Hulk first Hogan. breaststroke skins of the season, by the way, too. Yeah. Oh, it is for the women. Yeah. So Hulko and Strout finished 1-4 yesterday for Iron. So you got to have a good feeling about Iron moving on to the final four. And now all of a sudden, some jackpots are starting to pop up. Tucker right there in lane number two, looking good. Only four move on. Tucker trying to join the party. Hucko, Tucker, who will join them? Let's say it starts. Oh, good, good start. start for Tucker. Yeah, a good start for Tucker indeed. She did exactly what Coach Salo told her. Don't spend too long on the pullout. Get up and get swimming right there, and she did. There are your two finalists right there. Tucker in the lead, followed by Ida Hako. And Tucker stops her way to the win in round two. She was faster the there and than go. she was. Don't stay down there long. Pull it down, touch and go, all right? Stay with it, stay with it. Walk it out, you dry the... Same advice. Breathe, breathe. Don't Exhale, stay down deep long. and move. If you move, you don't die. Good start for both of them, really pretty dead even. In fact, they were 0.68 for both of them on the start. Tucker just goes out after though. He does waste no time on that first 25. This is all Miranda Tucker and Tokyo. Tokyo's gonna be the skins winner. Tucker's gonna get it done. And she does it in a huge way. Frog Kings get the skins win. Oh yeah. Two. I think Orsi's got another good chance to move on. He won the 100 IM earlier. Hopper, even with Orsi. Pitchenberg looks pretty good out there for the New York Freakers, but Hopper's on a whole nother level the second lap, folks. He's going to move on alongside DeBoer. And by the way, Morozov wound up last. Wow. Yeah, so is that. And you had a very good start. How that? Start on the water, keer punt, blijf het goed doen. Right? Can anyone upset Iron here? The ball looking good into the wall. He pops up first. Hopper stays underwater longer, but that may cost him. Temple. Temple's moved into the lead. Matt Temple takes round two. But DeBoer will also join him in the final. Water. He still has about 45 seconds. Just leave it here if you need more. Yep. You got uh, 40 seconds. It's yours. Come on. Didn't that dolphin kick a tempo on the right? That's a huge difference maker. And you said it on the turn, Bernie. Let's see the turn because the has got him on the turn. Stays down, stays down. Doesn't come up ahead this time. DeBoer is gonna get the win for Iron, but New York is gonna move into third. Tom DeBoer, his third Skins win. <laughs> We've seen for the last two days. And look at New York. Of course, it would have loved to have been second to move on, but they wind up third. First time this season that they're not last. And DC, it's their first ever ISL win as they win the play-in match. 
with 506 points.